Hey guys, it's Brian with Seller.Tools, and sorry ahead of time on the bad mic quality. I, uh, I misplaced my headset on, on my flight, and so it's using just a laptop microphone. I know it's not the best. Um, I want to deep dive into the Cell Tools Chrome extension. There's a lot of questions uh, going on in the Facebook group, and I just want to kind of uh, jump uh, on top of them and kind of explain them. So uh, first, first. Um, once you do log in, all you have to do is navigate to your, your order screen, uh, just like you, you could see in front of us. Um, the Chrome extension is going to request however uh, the page is presented, meaning like if you change the dates here to uh, seven days, 14 days, 30 days, um, it's going to request those particular order IDs. If you change the uh, product name or the SKU or the ASIN up in here and you hit search and it changes the screen here, it's going to request for those particular product. So you could do it based upon ASIN, you could do it based upon uh, a product name or just by date. Um, for me, I do have some products that don't get good reviews. Um, geez, I don't even know if that was English. Um, and so I only, re I filter mine based upon two filters, which is the date, uh, which is the ascending, which is a hundred per page. And then I also do uh, by product name. And I will go ahead and, and request by, by product name and let that run. Now, um, a clarifying the topic is, is how far back can I go or how soon can I request a review? Um, it's anywhere from day four to day 30, anywhere in between there. So you have about 26 days in there to request a review. Once it's greater than 30 days, you can no longer request a review. If it's under four days, you can no longer request a review. I wait a week before I, I request a review. So uh, there's about a three week period there, uh, or a little bit less than three week period there that you can request a review. Uh, next, uh, can you request more than one time for the review or can I customize the message for the review? No, you cannot customize the message for the review. This is an Amazon generated uh, message. Um, can you request more than one time? Uh, the answer is no. Uh, Amazon already controls that. It's one review request per order ID. Okay. Um, so as you can see here on the right hand side, we do have the review request. This is something that was sent beforehand. And this is something that I just clicked on a couple, you know, a couple of seconds ago and requested. As you can see, it's in green and this is a beige. Um, the Chrome extension will not request on something that has already been requested. If you were using a different extension or requested by hand, uh, don't worry about it. Uh, Amazon will control that and won't uh, send out an additional email to that uh, customer. Um, you can request as much as you want, um, but there is a limit uh, to, to Amazon and how they present the orders, which is 10,000 orders, guys. Um, the Chrome extension has a little trouble because if it's greater than 10,000 orders, uh, because Amazon will not load page 101. Um, it can, Amazon will only load 100 pages at a time. So guys, I would recommend that you definitely do less than 10,000 orders per go, meaning uh, per sit down when you, when you run uh, your script. Um, you can, of course, filter by name or ASIN or by date in order to kind of control that. Let's just say you want to do, you know, two weeks worth of orders or one week worth of order. Uh, but definitely you want to get under the 10,000 limit. Um, if you do request reviews on this page, it'll request everything on this page, which is 100 orders, guys. If you do this one here, I'll request reviews on all pages. If you have, let's just say 2,000 orders loaded, which is 100 per page, that's 20 pages. Uh, the extension will go through all 20 pages and request on all 2,000 orders, all right? Um, so definitely this is the more powerful one, but make sure uh, you do have it filtered exactly the way you want it uh, filtered before you hit that button and it will begin to request. So there's three different ways you can request a review. You can either do it manually, order by order, which is right here. Um, you could do it by everything based upon the page, uh, which is the blue one right here. And then you could do on all pages, which is up to 10,000 orders. But again, I would recommend less than that. In terms of, of how much is too much, um, I would say that you don't want to go above 15% review rate, meaning um, if you have 100 orders that you don't want to get more than 15 reviews uh, on a day, okay? Uh, typically, uh, my products, when I'm noticing, I'm getting about half a half a percent organic review rate. Uh, with this Chrome extension, it bumped it up, but up to about two and a half percent review rate. So that's uh, it's much lower uh, uh, review rate uh, per day. Um, 
So remember, it's it's per day, guys. So if you sell 100 per day, you want to go less than 15 reviews a day. So uh, the question, the statement of, you know, can I request 9,000 orders and get 900 reviews? That would be way, uh, uh, you know, way too much or even 90 would be too much um, because you're only selling 100 per day. So you definitely in the beginning need to throttle yourself. Uh, and slowly request them until you until you get that built up. That's why I recommend doing last 30 days and then doing 100 and then a order date ascending so that your months, your oldest ones are in front of you. Um, and so so the ones that are about to fall off the date threshold are there. Um, and that's really about it, guys. Um, we will be updating this Chrome extension. So go ahead and submit some uh, requests of what you want to see happen. Oh, uh, two more things. Um, if an item is canceled or refunded, uh, you do not have to worry about it um, uh, sending a request, a review request to those. So it automatically ignores, the Chrome extension ignores canceled and refunded uh, orders, all right? And I think that's about it, guys. So uh, let me know your feedback. Let me know if there's any more questions or, um, or um, you know, maybe you love it, maybe you hate it, and if you want some additional features. But uh, hopefully this video explained uh, quite a bit of those questions. Thanks, guys.